So this is 515 here. 515. And we are looking for the ratio of V naught over IS. That is what we're looking for. And then for part B, we put in these numbers here for part B. So let's work on part A first. Um, so we're looking for V naught in relation to IS. So if you take a look, there is, um, this is z zero volts here. Zero volts down here. And that also means that this must be zero volts. Zero volts there. And if we look at the current, remember that the current going in here, those are both zero amps. No current goes through the op amp here. So all of the current goes up here. So this here is IS. And let's call this current um, I2, and we'll call this current I3. So all of this current goes up here, and then some goes here, and some goes here. So we're looking for V0. So let's write the current. Let's write Ohm's law for each of these. So we know that across this, IS is equal to zero volts minus this voltage, let's call this V1, call that V1, minus V1 divided by R1. And we can simplify this, IS is equal to negative V1 divided by R1. Okay. So that's what we have for IS here. Now, I2, I2 is equal to V1 minus zero divided by R2. And lastly, I3 is equal to V1 here minus V0 divided by R3. Okay, so we have three different currents here. We have this one, this one, and this one. Let's take this equation first. IS is equal to negative V1 divided by R1. And let's transform that. Let's rearrange it a little bit. So we have V1 is equal to negative IS times R1 right here. And we're going to take this now. We're going to put it into this equation. And we're going to put it into this equation. So by doing that, we have I2 is equal is equal to negative IS R1 divided by R2. And here we have this equal to negative IS times R1 minus V0 divided by R3. So we now have all of the currents in terms of IS. And that's what we want to be able to determine this ratio here. So we're going to do KCL at this point. KCL at this point, our nodal analysis, KCL. And we're going to do N minus out equals zero. Coming in, we have IS. And going out, we have I2 and I3. And that is equal to zero. Now we have, let's rewrite that, IS minus I2 
I2 is here. So that's going to be plus IS R1 divided by R2. And then we have minus I3, which turns out to be plus IS R1 plus V0 divided by R3 equal to zero. Now we need to simplify this. Because we have V0 here, we're going to try to isolate V0 on the other side. We're going to move V0 to the other side. So our goal, our goal is to move here, V0 to here. Okay, so to do that, to do that, Let's first multiply this equation. We're going to multiply this equation by R3. Multiply this by R3. By doing that, we have R3. Now, let's write it IS R3 plus I S R one R three divided by R two plus I S R one plus V naught is equal to zero. And so we have that. We multiplied it by R three and got this equation. And now we're going to move V naught to the other side. So we have I S times R3 plus IS R1 R3 divided by R2 plus IS R1 equals negative V naught. Now we're going to pull out IS. So we're gonna bring IS out to the front here. IS out to the front. And then we have R3 plus R1 times R3 divided by R2 plus R1 is equal to negative V0. Now we can move this to the other side. So I'm gonna move IS to the other side and then move the negative sign here to this side. Now let's try to get a common denominator here, a common denominator. So if we have a fraction like this x over y, we call the bottom here, this is the denominator. Denominator denominator and we want a common denominator a common denominator which means that the denominators are all the same all the same so to do that for example to get a common denominator we would multiply this by r2 divided by r2 so multiply this one by r2 divided by r2 and then multiply this times R2 divided by R2. So we're multiplying here, each of these here. And what we end up getting is we have R3, or R2, R3, plus R1 times R3, plus R1, times R2 all over R2 with a negative sign. So that is our V naught over IS here. Okay, so that is V naught over. And lastly, so this is our solution for the first part of the problem. The second part, wants us to evaluate this with these values. So we put in all of those values here. 
all of these values into that equation. So if we do that, we have R1 is equal to 20 kilo ohms. R2 is equal to 25 kilo ohms. And R3 is equal to 40 kilo ohms. We come out with this ratio, V0 over IS, is equal to negative 92. Negative 92. 